Good morning, good morning, good morning, weak people of America. The weak people of America. Enter. So the uh, shenanigans down in Florida uh, are raging on. The election fraud, election fraud in Florida is raging on. All of a sudden, everybody's awake to election fraud in Florida. So um, <clears throat> what happened? Rick Scott. Oh, we should be so happy, right? The Republican Rick Scott won in Florida, right? And uh, DeSantis is now the governor. Rick Scott is the senator, right? We should be happy, right? They fucking, they won, right? And Brenda Snipes, you remember Brenda Snipes? The, the, the crazy, you remember the, the, you remember the lady, Brenda Snipes, that the uh, county elections official, she resigned, she's out, right? Everything's going well, right? Everything's, everything's right along the way. No, wrong. So you remember about a week ago, um, see, this is what's called cheat to win, right? This is, Rick Scott is, is uh, he out-cheated them, right? And am I making it up? No. Let's listen to, remember last week I did a, I did a, a talk with uh, Tim Canova. Now, Tim Canova is a uh, independent candidate uh, running against, who ran against Debbie Wasserman Schultz in 2018. And he ran in the Democratic primary in 2016 against Debbie Wasserman Schultz, and they stuck the knife in his back. He arguably won that race, and he challenged the the count, right, in Boward County against the Board of Elections lady, Brenda Snipes. <clears throat> and uh, in that in that recount, they destroyed the paper ballot. So there's, they, there's corruption all over the place. But who's this, who was the governor at the time? It was Rick Scott. Right, Rick Scott now is the the senator. DeSantis is the uh, governor, but Rick Scott w- was aware of the corruption that that paper ballots, f- you know, felony election interference occurred under his watch, <clears throat> and he was aware of it and did nothing about it. But let's listen to Tim in his own words. Remember last week, and Tim is now. I mean, I did this. I did this talk with him on November nine, and Fox had him on there on November eleven. So, 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 Tim, if you want to call me and thank me for getting your shit, it's good stuff, man. You know, I, I, we were. I'm ahead of it because I follow. I follow this kind of thing, and I know Tim. But let's listen to this. I don't know what to make of it? Uh, Remember this? I wouldn't put anything past any of these folks. Uh, these are people who have lied and they lie, steal, and cheat. Uh, they steal elections, um, and I—I I don't know what they're capable of. Right. Well, I—you're you're still my hero, Tim. I mean, you're—you're you're fighting the well, good—you're fighting the good I, fight. Don't don't. I appreciate yeah. it, Marcus. Uh, I'll tell you that uh, yeah. months ago, when we won our public records law suit against the supervisor of elections, and we won that mm-hmm. on summary judgment because she destroyed the paper ballots. These are felonies under state law. This this is punishable by up to five years in prison. It violates federal and state criminal statutes. Mm-hmm. At that time, I was calling on Rick Scott, the, the Republican governor of Florida, to fire the supervisor and to replace her with somebody who's honest and competent. Mm-hmm. Um, the governor did not do so. And from what I gathered at the time, um, it was because the Republicans had the same donors that the Democrats do, and they were basically going to protect Debbie Wasserman and Schultz. I was a bigger enemy than... Uh, <laughs> to the system than Brenda Snipes. Mm-hmm. And I warned at the time. Uh, I, I basically told my lawyer who was in touch with people on the governor's staff to let the governor know that if he let this go, that Brenda Snipes is just going to screw him over in the general election. And this this is a serial rigger. They will keep rigging, rigging elections. And that fell on deaf ears. And uh, look what we have now. Right. No consequence. Felonies, 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 no consequence. That's what we get. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So where do we go from here, Tim? What's next? Well, so that so I mean that's pretty powerful, right? That's Tim Canova uh, uh, back on November nine. So let's see how let's see how Fox and the the other mainstream media's are reporting it. So I'm reading from Fox, uh, Fox News. <clears throat> it's 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 an, it's an interesting story. I mean we know about election fraud, right? But nobody wants to do anything about it because when it when they cheat and it's to their advantage, then there is no constant. They don't they don't take action. See see. Well, let me just read, and then I'll give you my fucking opinion again. Brenda Snipes, the supervisor of elections in Florida, Broward County, has submitted her resignation. 
I, that's that's the breaking news in the mainstream media that she resigned. <laughs> Whoop de doo. The South Florida Sun Sentinel reported Sunday. The paper reported that Snipes' res- resignation will take effect in January. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so she re- so she resigns, but it it's not like like she walks away. She gets she gets another you know half of November and all of December. To, to just totally fucking fry records. And she's still the head of board of... She didn't leave. She didn't leave. She's still there. She's still there. She's going to finish out the term. And when Rick Scott takes over as senator and DeSantis takes over as governor, then she's going to resign because she would have been fired anyway. So a resignation is... This is bullshit. This is this is total fucking bullshit. It is true. She said she She did send it. An attorney for the county elections office told the news outlet. It, it's bullshit. So what? She sent a letter of resignation, but she didn't leave the... She didn't... Look, it's felony conviction. These are felony charges. They should have came in there with handcuffs and dragged her out of the building. Snipes has faced heavy criticism over the handling of votes during the year's election. Florida can... Florida's contest for governor and U.S. Senate went to recounts, putting the political spotlight on sunshine, on the Sunshine State with an, with an intensity not seen since 2000 presidential election. I mean, that's spin. Where were you when when Tim Canova was blowing the whistle, saying that the, you know, that that a court uh, 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 rendered a decision from the bench that election fraud had occurred? That 200,000 ballots or however many ballots, right, in, were destroyed before the recount. That's a felony, right? So it's it just, it's, just it's, it's again, cheat to win. Fox thinks they're getting some sort of advantage by getting the Republican Rick Scott, right, as the, as the senator, right? There's some kind of, and, and cheating is okay, right? We're not going to look... They do look at the facts, but but they don't they, they refuse to blame Rick Scott for the for the problem. And why Rick Scott? Because he's the sitting governor. He has the constitutional ability to intervene, and he didn't. He knew all about the fraud. He knew all about it. No doubt about it. On Monday, Snipes told reporters that she worked in the office for about fifteen years. I have to say, this is this the first time that this office or I have been under such attack. <laughs> no, it's not true. You were under. You were. You were accused of felony. Uh, f- felony election fraud a few months ago, or a year ago. The, uh, you're not accused, but found guilty of. There have been issues that have, haven't gone the way we wanted it. You can call it a mistake, or you can call it whatever you want to call it. I mean, that's the way they handle it. You call it whatever you want to call it, right? It's fucking, because there's no consequence. You get it? You get what's going on? On Tuesday, the election, election official said, it is time to move on from her role overseeing Broward County's elections. And on Saturday, she told The Guardian that racism <laughs> <laughs> probably played a role in the heated criticism against her. Now it's because she's black. Uh, it's black. Not because she cheated, because I'm black. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Because I'm black. It's because I'm black. All right. It's racism. Now it's racism. You cheat, and now it's racism. Fucking scumbags. <laughs> Excuse me. Against her. The same day, Snipes also acknowledged that her office had misplaced more than 2,000 ballots during the recount. I, she misplaced two thousand ballots. It wasn't now, if I remember correctly, wasn't the race between uh, the the Rick Scott and and the other guy uh, less than two thousand difference? So she's admitting to cheating. Where and she resigns with no. There's no consequence. This is this is outrageous in our country. Our country's falling apart. Snipes was appointed as the top election official in Broward County in two thousand three. By then, Florida Governor Jeb Bush, a Republican. Snipes, a Democrat, has been elected to the role four times since. (laughs) Elected. They said elected, right? And we know that the elections are rigged. So she was, they they rigged the elections four times to get her to maintain her seat. Jeb Bush speaking. Oh, the big Jeb. The big Jeb. 
There is no question that Broward County Supervisor of Elections Brenda Snipes failed to comply with Florida law on multiple counts, undermining Floridians' confidence in our electoral process. Supervisor Snipes should be removed from her office. See, they blame the, they blame the messenger. They refuse to, to own the fact that election fraud is rampant in our country, right? And is, you know, and then when, when they get caught, right, at the highest levels, they blame somebody else. Ah, Russia, Guccifer, you know, blame the publisher of the, of the evidence. Blame uh, Julian Assange. Oh, he's a Russian, Right, but they refuse to own the they they refuse to own the corruption that is 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 evident and is has already been disclosed in courts of law in our courts. Uh, what else? Before I end this, early this year, a state judge ruled. Now this is Fox repeating what Tim Canova told us two weeks ago. Earlier this year, the state judge ruled that Snipes broke election law by destroying ballots in a 2016 congressional primary involving Debbie Wasserman Schultz. And that was the race against Tim Canova. They, don't, they won't even mention Tim by name. Without waiting the required 22 months. Right? So they did a recount. They, they, Tim requested the recount. And in that recount, Brenda Snipes destroyed the ballots. And, got, and then the judge ruled that she, in fact, did destroy the ballots and interfere in, election, in an election. And there was no consequence. Absolutely no consequence. A week after the 2012 election, about a thousand, this is more stuff, a thousand uncounted ballots were suddenly discovered. <laughs> right? But we want to, but you know, Trump people, you want to blame the, the busload of Mar uh, Mexicans coming in for over the border, right? This is, this is, this is not, there's no voter fraud going on here. This is election fraud. These are the people entrusted that we entrust Rigging serial riggers, as as Tim, I love that term, serial riggers, rigging elections. Just last week, a Broward County judge found that Snipes had violated Florida open records law by failing to quickly provide voting records to attorneys for Smith for uh, Scott's Senate campaign. More than one, more than eight eight million votes were cast in Florida in the midterm elections. The state is scheduled to certify results of the Senate race, and incumbent Democrat Bill Nelson conceded to Republican Rick Scott. Fuck it. So, so you got massive, massive election fraud. The governor, the Brenda Snipes, the Board of Election lady, has quote resigned, and. Uh, that that's meaningless because she's not she wasn't escorted out of the building in handcuffs and there's no consequence. So you'll expect the next uh, governor to step in, uh, you know, and and he'll appoint his own hitman and the corruption will continue. See, because there's no consequence. Rick Scott goes on to the Senate, having known all about the election fraud, and what's he going to do? He's going to turn around and be a typical typical lying Republican partisan. And he's going to say, "Oh, it's gerrymandering, gerrymandering." It's it, and he's going to go. They're going to go right back to the same talking points of uh, of illegals voting and and felons voting and all these other things that have nothing to do with the the rigging of the elections, which he is responsible for. Was aware of, right? Because if you're aware of it, and you're in the position to change it. And, and you don't, then you're complicit in the crime because you think that there's going to be some kind of favor in it for you. You, you were under the impression that, that you were a shoe-in for the Senate. And these guys, you know, Snipes is, is just is not, certainly not acting on her own behalf, right? right? Some lady from fucking Florida, some, she's not acting on her own behalf. She's, she's taking a hit for the team, right? Remember Debbie Wasserman Schultz said, take a hit for the team. Sometimes you got to take a hit for the team. See, that's what Brendan Snipes is. She's taking the hit for the, for the team to fudge the election. And you, Rick Scott, thought that you could out-fudge the record. You know, you thought you could out-cheat them. And they almost got you. Until Trump stepped in and said, you know, Trump is now intervening, saying that Snipes should be fired. Right? Until the president, the president of the United States had to save your ass. Right? And where's Trump? Trump's not aware of the, the election fraud? Trump's not aware of it? 
that 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 it's all on the record now. So I don't know. That's just you know that's my 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 position on this. I think that the it's what we've been saying all along. After 2016, when we saw the election fraud against Sanders uh, uh, via uh, uh, the, the Clinton machine, Hillary Clinton, how the Democrats rig elections and then blame others when they get caught, right? It's it's not. It's still in place. Right? It's still it's still in place, and it's not just Boward County is 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 a uh, is a hot spot, and it's interesting to watch it there because it's. Uh, you know, it's 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 so in your face and so out in the open, you know, and so on fire that and so obvious, you know, so that's a good place to watch. But it's happening all over. It happens all over the country. It happened here in Brooklyn where, you know, the guy they purged 200,000 potential Bernie Sanders votes in the primary against Hillary Clinton. Uh, they, you know, and on and on and on. There's just so many so many instances of election fraud in our country so so congratulations uh rick scott will now become the senator from he'll stand next to marco rubio and there'll be senator senators and senators from the good state of florida and uh because you won right because if you would have lost then oh then it would have been then there would have been lawsuits and there would have been they would have run over brenda snipes but now it's like oh we won so just let it go 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 My name is Marcus Conti reporting.